I use a smartphone and a gimbal to create many of the shots for my videos. So today I'm going to share a bunch of tips and some of my favorite shots so you guys can get the absolute very best from your smartphone gimbal. So yeah, let's just get right into it. A gimbal is designed to stabilize unwanted movements while your camera is in motion. Really, a gimbal is all about stabilizing moving shots. So whether you're panning, tilting, or tracking your subject, don't be static. Move your camera. Tripods are great for capturing locked off static shots, but they can be a pain to lug around and to set up, and they don't always fit every situation. So in a pinch, your gimbal can act as a tripod so you can capture a still shot. So when you're, when you're setting up, just keep your body nice and stable, keep your elbows tucked in, and that's gonna allow you to capture a great still shot with your gimbal. When shooting with my smartphone and my gimbal, I always set the focus and set the exposure, and then I lock them down. Now, I do this because I don't want the camera hunting for focus, and I don't want the exposure fluctuating while I'm shooting. So remember, lock down that focus, lock down that exposure, and you're gonna get more cinematic and professional looking results. One of my favorite handheld gimbal movements is simulating a crane shot. So starting from a low squat, I press up through my legs and ultimately extend my arm overhead with the gimbal. This creates a very dynamic looking shot with a lot of movement and you don't need any bulky expensive equipment. Also, it doesn't have to be a big movement. Even small changes in your camera height can make a big difference. Besides looking amazing, slow motion video has the added benefit of making the footage captured with your smartphone and gimbal even smoother. And that's especially important as you push in really close to your subject. The closer you get to your subject, the more any unwanted movement gets magnified. So if you're gonna push in really tight, slow down your frame rate to get the most buttery smooth footage. When doing slider type shots with your gimbal, compose foreground elements between your camera and your subject. This is gonna add depth to the shot and it's gonna allow you to kind of hide and reveal your point of interest as you slide on by. That's gonna make the shot much more interesting and really give it a cinematic feel. A really fun movement that I like to use from time to time is something I call an orbit shot. So I will push in really close to my subject, a lock focus and exposure, and then I just orbit the camera around them. And it's a really cool looking shot and it's a great way to show off detail. Now a variation of the shot would be to pull out much further from your subject so you can show more of their surroundings. Another favorite gimbal shot of mine is I like to push in really close to the subject, transitioning from out of focus to crisp focus. Now, how I do that is I start up really close to my subject, I set focus and exposure, I lock them down, and then I back up until the, the subject comes out of focus. Then in post, I reverse the clip, so I transition from out of focus to crisp focus. No matter how carefully you walk or run, you're still gonna see some of that up and down or bobbing motion while doing your tracking or follow shots. Gimbals simply aren't designed to handle that up and down movement. So to smooth that out, try jumping on a skateboard or strapping on some rollerblades or even sitting on the back of a bike while someone else pedals. That's gonna allow you to keep up with fast moving subjects and smooth out any of that unwanted motion. Well, that's it guys. I hope you learned at least one new thing. Please hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and yeah, you guessed it. We'll see you next time.